I'm here in the ECT department of the El Paso facility. And these ECT machines have a lot of coolant, water, moisture, hoses all over the place. Leviton WetGuard is the perfect solution for these types of electrical connections. I'm gonna show you how to wire up the plug and the connector right now. Let's get started. Find the appropriate breaker and turn the power off. So I've gone ahead and separated my nut, my rubber housing, and my wiring module and selected my strain relief washer and my rubber bushing based on the size of my cord and the number of conductors it has. Now you can find this table on the instruction sheet. In order to ensure the integrity of the plug, it's important that each individual piece goes on in the correct order. First, the nut. You want to make sure that the threads are facing towards the end of the cord. Next, the strain relief washer. Here, you want to make sure that the circular piece is facing towards the end of the cord. Just like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put on my rubber bushing. Now you will notice that the rubber bushing, one side is smaller than the other. You want the smaller side facing towards the end of the cord. Next, you want to make sure that you've stripped about an inch off the end of your cord so that each of your leads is one inch long. And you know this looks about right. Then, you want to make sure that each of your wire leads is stripped about a half inch. So that looks good, that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and take a little off my green. Taking my wire strippers, rocking them back and forth. And there we go. Now we're ready to put the rubber housing on and wire the device. The rubber housing and wiring module actually have a key guide that allows the two to, to line up perfectly. The rubber housing has this notch and the wiring module has this groove and they simply fit together just like that. Now taking my Phillips head screwdriver, I'm just finishing tightening the screws in my wire module to my rubber housing. Next, I'm going to slide up my rubber bushing up into the rubber housing, move my strain relief washer up to the rubber bushing, and push my nut and tighten it clockwise on the threads. Nice and tight, watertight. The connector is the exact same as the plug. The only difference is that after you put your nut, strain relief washer, and your rubber bushing, you want to go ahead and put your cap on, then your rubber housing, then you go ahead and connect your cord to your wiring module, and that's it. Let's restore the power. So there you have it, my plug-in connector, all wired up. Plug it in, nice and tight, watertight, Leviton Wet Guard. Have a great day.